Hello everyone and greetings. Today I will be setting up a green screen and lighting kit that I purchased from Amazon. Um, it's a really good tool for those of you who want to get into like blogging or photography or just you know anything that's going to record yourself on. You know, if I had it up right now, I have better lighting on me. But um, stay tuned with me and I'll show you how it's put together and we'll see what the final product looks like. So. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have all your parts. You should have um, two boxes, about yay big, and inside of these boxes are actually the light bulbs that you will use for the lighting kit. And this is what they look like. Now it's really important that you keep up the box and the styrofoam because these things are very fragile and you really don't want to have to go try to buy another one. Uh, it's not worth it. Just keep them safe. We'll put it back into this box for now. Alright, lay those right there. Other thing that you'll be looking for are, are two smaller size boxes like this. And these will contain, I'm not sure what the technical word is, but the thing that the light bulb screws into. Yeah. And you'll have two boxes of those, one for each bulb. And here, we'll lay these right there as well. Uh, next thing, these, again, I'm not sure what the technical term for them are, but they help so the light isn't too shine bright in your face, kind of fans it out, softens the light. I think the name of it is something like that, softens out. But you have two of those. And as you can see, Eclavin is the brand that I have. Next thing that you'll have, um, we have the two stands, and these will be for the lights as well. Like I said, we'll lay these to the side for now. Other things that it comes with, we have the green screen, we have the black, I mean, black cloth and the white. Once we get the, um, the stand set up for that, we'll slide those on. All right, next thing that you'll need, come in a bag like this. And this will be the stands for the screen. They're very simple to put up. If you ever put up anything, piping great. It's pretty much the basics. Um, first thing I do is get my tripod set up. Uh, try to get them as even as possible so they're both about the same height. I think it's important to get it fully out so that way it has a sturdy base for you. And you're going to want to pull it out like that and you should have a wing nut here and we'll tighten it there so it doesn't slip. We'll sit that one there for now and we'll do the same thing with our other one. And I'll turn the camera about this way so you can't see what I'm doing there. So you're going about the same height. Now, we'll tighten that there. They're about the same height, I believe. Maybe not. Hold on. Right. We'll go tighten that up like so. Next thing you're going to do. Next thing you're gonna want is kind of get these to the height that you're gonna want. I'm gonna set it up like as if we we're gonna do just a standing interview with someone. Let's fix this. Sorry, I'm just using my laptop camera for now. Actually, let's change positions. There, lighting's a lot better there. All right, so next thing you wanna do, you're gonna wanna raise it up. And once you raise it, tighten the nut as well. Boom. And we'll set that one right there. And also you have a second one that you don't want to raise. Now this one, depending on what you're doing, you won't have to raise this one ridiculously high. Put it 
down right there. And that's probably about six one maybe. I'm five nine, so That's what I'm saying. Like once you um, put the piping up, it'll be a lot easier to tell like if you're even or not because um, the bar has to go straight across. So, next thing that we're going to do uh, is put the pipes together. And they're very simple. Um, on one end, you'll have see an end like this, and the other end, we'll call this the male end, and this is the female end. Um, this will have to go into the female end, and it snaps in place. Bam, and it should look like that. And let's see, for yeah, for this demo, we're only going to do one of them. If you needed like a longer space, you just put put at this to here, put it all together. Like I said, for this, we're only put one. We only need one to, to show you how it's done. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our green screen and beat it across like a curtain. Green screen can be very useful because um, it allows you to have a solid background to where you can go in and, you know, maybe you got a picture of a nice backdrop that you want to do a video in front of instead. But let's see, recording outside is hard. Uh, you got the elements, you got the birds, you got people driving by, things like that. So um, you can actually record inside and drop that picture in the background and boom, you have that nice scenery that you want. So we found the end here. And next, all you're gonna do is slide this inside of there, like so. Boom, should it? Like so, like a curtain. Next step, at the top of our pose here, we have a wing nut that's up top. We are going to unscrew that. And honestly, I was just going with it on both ends just to make your life a lot easier. All right, and next you just so, let's bring this down so you can see. So you see that end right there with the screw? You're gonna have a hole on the end of that pipe, just like that, and it's just gonna slide straight through. Now, the last step that you're gonna do is you're gonna screw your wing nut back on top. And this just stops the case, like if it fell or something, it doesn't come apart. You want to make sure you screw these things straight on and off because once you cross thread it, they become a real pain when you're screwing them on and off. Now, um, as you can see, mine's a little crooked right now. We'll move the camera over here so you can get a better view. I can see right now it's a little crooked. The size is a little lower, so we're just going to loosen this up and raise it yeah, just a little bit to straighten it up. Now that it's up, one thing that you want to do is kind of make sure it's spread out. And I guess honestly, this isn't the ideal place that you want to put your green screen in front of a window. But, um, you know, for the purpose of this video, it gets the job done. So, yeah, and that's that. You want to spread it out. You want a nice, solid back. Uh, one thing that I would invest in, I would suggest you invest in. Is a, a steamer. Um, it just gets the wrinkles out, so gives you a nice solid, solid background. And I prefer them about this height as well because what we have now is a bit on the floor, just in case like you're doing a full body shot. Um, you want to get, let's say, you want to be on the beach or something. You want your whole body seen. You got your nice outfit or whatnot. That way you can get everything in there. All right.
right, so we have the green screen set. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up our lighting kit. Uh, lighting kits are a lot like uh, the green screen as far as setup. You have a tripod, and just going to pull it out like we did the one for the green screen. Bring the camera back down for you. Bam. So you're gonna pull it out and tighten it up. Same thing here. Pull up, tighten up. And as we go up, I won't go up too far with this one because it's gonna be too high, but oh, seems like this right here. <clears throat> This may happen to you as well, where um, the part with the wing nut that tightens it, it actually slipped off and um, was on the top pole, which it really should be on this center piece to tighten it to stop it from falling. So we're going to put it about this height and tighten it up. All right, so the next thing that I would do is um, I'll put together my bulb into the holder. So we'll take our small box, let's open that one up. This one I already have it out the plastic and everything. And as you see, you'll have your power cord on it. It has the on off switch, which are all very important. Um, if you don't have the power cord and the on off switch, there's something wrong and you should get back in touch with who you bought it from and see if they can get a replacement to you ASAP. So next we'll take out our bolt here. And we will just screw it into there, like so. Like I said, with these lighting kits, they they really come in handy no matter what you're doing. From like a, a stay-at-home mom who's running a photography business to someone who makes crafts and just want to display their, their product on Etsy or something. They're, they're really good for you. All right, so the next step is um, you're going to want to, you got a wing nut here. You're going to want to loosen it up. Because we're gonna slide this. Boom. Right there. And then you want to tighten it up. Bam. Just like that. Now, one thing that you probably need, you will need, not a probably, uh, an extension cord. Because the, the cords they put on here are, are pretty short. For it being as hot as in the area as it is, you know, <laughs> you would think they would put a long cord, but I, it, it may be like a safety thing. You plug it into a cord, if someone trips over it, it just comes unplugged versus bringing the whole thing down to the ground. So, in the last part of the lighting kit you'll set up is the little umbrella. I said that's really important to soften the light. And like, yeah, and you, it's variable ways you put on. You put it all the way up there, or you can like let the light travel a little bit and just kind of spread it out more. We'll put it about right here, since we're in a small space. All right, and bam! As you see, this is our lighting kit, and we have it together. Uh, I am going to plug it up right over here, and let's see if the bad boy works. It should. So, the moment of truth. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. And there it is. Like, as you can see with this, it kind of softens the light. Gives you more um, visibility. It makes things a little clearer. Now, I'm going to set the other one real quick, real fast on the other side. And I'll let you see the finished product. Just because you have all these, it doesn't make you a professional. It's good to, um, you know, look up tricks and everything for what you're trying to use it for. Um, because um, there's different ways of doing things for different things. to achieve, And different ways of setting your lighting up to achieve different results. But um, with us being in the technological age that we're in, all your resources are on the internet. So 
Um, you're just one Google search away from becoming the best in your business. There you have it. We have our green screen and our suit lights. I hope you found this video to be helpful to you. And um, I hope you achieve whatever it is you're trying with this. I'm just getting started on it myself. I plan on doing more tutorials later just to um, you know, help other people out. Because uh, I know this is uh, it. we're all in this together at the end of the day. So. Until next time, have a nice day.